G'day everybody and welcome back to Automotive Carnage. That's right, we are back and we are filming again after a very long hiatus and uh, we are back with a new vehicle. That's right, we've got yet another project to add to the stables. We have gone and brought ourselves a 2009 VE Commodore Ute. Now, before we dive into this and its plans and everything, just a bit of a brief rundown. Uh, a few things have changed in the stables around here. Um, Starlin's gone, we managed to sell, it, to sell that. The Black BA Fairmont gear that donated its V8 and transmission to the Cressida, that's also gone. So I thought, what better way to celebrate actually getting rid of some vehicles than to go and buy yet another one to work on and fix and yeah, my, my brain works very weird like that. So anyway, what we have is a 2009 Omega Commodore VE boring bog standard, but it does have the 3.6 litre in it, which is the fun engine, I guess you could say. It's got 175 kilowatts. No, it's not the nicer one, which has got like 190 kilowatts, but anyway, that's not why we have this vehicle. Um, this came up in the local area for two and a half grand. It still has registration, which is great. Uh, but as you can see, cosmetically, it looks like crap. So that's what we're going to fix. So what I'm hoping for here is a short series on this VE where we buy it, fix it, sell it. In actuality, what's going to happen is I'm going to buy it. I'm going to fall in love with all the different options we can do with it, overspend on everything and parts that I don't need, and then sell it for a loss. That's pretty much how most of my cars go. So this, I can guarantee you now, will be no exception. So what does need to be done to this vehicle? Well, mechanically, she's pretty good. It's done 261,000 kilometers, um, but it still runs sweet ass, um, which is absolutely great. It is literally just a few cosmetic items around the outside and the inside to get this car up and running. So let's do a bit of a walk around and show you what's broken on this vehicle. So the first thing you'll notice is that no, that window is not wound down. It is smashed and it is completely gone. There's still a little bit left of the caller window there, um, but that will need to be replaced as well. So we're in for two new windows. Uh, the wing mirrors, they're going to need to be replaced as well. Uh, this fender, well, that's all a bit stoved in and what have you. Headlights, well, they're faded a bit as well. Uh, but bonnet just needs to be cleaned up. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there's footprints on here. And it looks like a bloody Great Dane's been jumping on this thing. It's crazy. Uh, a bit of a spray paint job going on on the door there, which is going to, need to be replaced. Uh, mismatched wheels uh, with dodgy tires. So dodgy, in fact, we have plugs sticking out of the side wall there. So that's not too good. Uh, inside, what have we got? We need a good clean pretty much in here. The glass from the smashed window over there has gone all through it. All I have done so far is vacuum this seat so I can actually drive this car around. It drives pretty good, except for the strut on that side makes horrible noises because someone replaced it and didn't do it properly. And so there's like this much play, oops, sorry, that much play in the actual strut and it's, uh, it's definitely no good. So go get new ones of those. And obviously the door card on that side has fallen apart. But otherwise, you know, a, a good clean it's going to see this vehicle back up and running again. Uh, as for the back, the tray is in good nick. All the headlights, tail lights, they're all fine. We have a tow ball, which is awesome. And yeah, a very messy tray. Now, I've owned this for oh, about a week or so now, and this is still exactly how I got. I've been driving around town with the smashed windows. Ah, it's been amusing. Oh, and the sailplane. Very unusual name for a car part, a sailplane. That needs to be replaced as well, because the other one well, that's now in like four pieces, so. Now the other thing I kind of like to do with this vehicle as well, is kind of have a bit of a, a one-up with uh, Graham from XA Coupe Guy. Yes, that's right, he is also doing a fix and, or buy, fix and sell kind of scenario. I think his goal is trade his way up to $50,000, get himself a nice car. Um, so he's got a Ford FG Ute. Well, I went and got a VE Holden Ute. So there you go, Graham. Let's see who can make the most profit at the end of the day. Um, I feel we both have a horrible condition of overspending. Um, he's already got a head start on me and done some amazing work to his. Um, and he has the bonus out of fact of that he lives in the city 
that has record yards and all that kind of stuff whereas I'm relying pretty much on eBay and yeah eBay pretty much where I'm getting all my stuff from so that's enough babbling about this let's finally give this thing a damn clean before the sun goes down There we go, the car is all polished now and looking good. I uh, got a bit carried away and on the inside. We vacuumed all the glass up as well. So all down here was just full of glass. Seat was covered in glass, obviously because that window was gone along with that one. And uh, so that's all been vacuumed up inside. All this rubbish has been taken out. It is looking much cleaner in here now. Uh, I've still got to do the plastics and interior trim. Uh, we're not going to be cleaning the doors obviously because we've got new ones of those coming. And since we have to take the door trim off to change the mirrors, we'll do all that at the same time. So we're not going to be doing the mirrors today. Um, but a little thing I wanted to point out, guys, quite often overlooked sometimes is when you're selling a car, uh, is your door jams. These are absolutely filthy because this car's done quite a few country miles on a loose gravel road or a dirt road. And that looks filthy. But if we come around the other side here of the one that I've already cleaned, and you know, you've got a nice shiny car because you polished it, you open it up, and boom that is a huge difference in there so highly recommend going over window cleaner any kind of cleaner really um, just to get rid of all the dirt and grime get right in there as close as you can really take your time to get in amongst all the different contours right around the door frames and it just presents so much nicer and there we have it the car is all polished now and looking absolutely smicker now to be honest it has been a couple of days over the christmas break so merry christmas and happy new year to everyone and uh it's gone a bit dusty again but that's all right nothing a quick wash and uh won't fix so in the meantime a few goodies have arrived first of which is if i pull it out of my pocket here a new key so this one uh nice new key there because the old one as you expect for a car that's done 200 thousand kilometers uh, was a bit worn out, all the buttons are gone, so I wasn't actually able to use the locking function or unlocking function on the key. So that's all sorted, looks great. Now, in the back here, we have the new passenger side mirror, passenger side quarter mirror, and new front suspension. That's all arrived, and as you know, let's use this. Oh yeah, that works. Uh, we also have the wing mirrors and new oil to flush out the old stuff. So, let's get into some actual work and I really want to replace this passenger side windows first so that we can actually secure this vehicle and not just have our doing the cover uh, kind of acting as a security blanket. Uh, yes, so let's get into some actual work. There we go, I gone done mucked up and um, I actually turned the recording off when I changed this window out. So I did pull the old one out as you can see and replace the new one. I thought I was recording it all for you on time lapse, um, but yeah, I pushed the wrong button, sorry. So um, there you go, ultra fast motion, it's done. So that means all our windows now are functioning and I no longer need to use the donor or the duvet uh, to cover the open gaping window to stop water or anything or animals getting into the actual car, which is great. So now it is fully functioning, fully lockable. Um, really, really cool. It looks a lot less dodgy now. If all our windows replaced, a good
good polish. It needs a clean, as I said, there's still dust all over it, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like such a hack of a vehicle anymore. It's starting to look presentable, which is something that this channel is not used to, presentable cars. So, I'm going to leave it at that because it is currently 40 or something degrees at the moment. I'm sweating and camera gears are failing on me. So, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Next episode, we are going to replace the other window, uh, the front shocks, a couple of interior pieces. But, the most exciting parcel is still yet to come. It hasn't arrived yet. It's $1,300 worth of new old stock for this car to fancy it up and really set it apart from XA Coupe Guys FG Falcon. Um, yeah, I think this thing's going to look way better once it's done. I know we're not red, but that's okay. Uh, also, a side note, if you know of any VE black utes being wrecked, I do still need um, the front guard, and I need the sail plane that goes up here. I'm having trouble trying to find any online, so if you know of any, hit me up at automotivecarnage at gmail.com, and um, let me know what you've got and prices and all that, and we'll try and work out a deal. Um, yeah, until then... Great to be back for me, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Automotive Carnage.